Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Died Twice. Last time we learned that our name is actually Sekiro, we beat uh, two bosses in one go, and I'm still just enjoying this game a lot because I've been. I'm still playing it way more than I can ever release these episodes in, in a way faster tempo than I can uh, release them in. But hey, I'm guessing I'm gonna need that head start to deal with whatever fancy bosses we'll be fighting later on. But first things first, we have acquired a few skill points. So let's just check out where we can put those. And we also got this last time, we got the uh, Ashina Arts uh, Esoteric Text. And the first skill in there is Ishimonji. Acquires the combat art Ichimonji. Ishimonji delivers a heavy one-hit overhead sword strike. Deals high posture damage and also recovers one's own posture with a strong forward step. Single-minded mastery of this technique is the heart of the Ashina style strength. Once mastered, it can likely be improved. So just L1 or an R1 or holding it to give them yeah a more powerful overhead strike that sounds cool i want to have that there we go now we can actually upgrade that with descending carp a latent skill that for a few sec seconds after deflection increases damage to enemy posture from all sources the ashina style is deeply rooted in the flow of the fountainhead waters they believe the act of successfully deflecting a blade is akin to a carp descending a waterfall that sounds incredibly powerful and then Ascending Carp, a latent skill that increases the damage inflicted to posture upon performing a successful deflection just on its own. The Ashina style is deeply rooted in the flow of the Fountainhead Water. So we heard a few times, we talked a few times about the Fountainhead Waters. It's really becoming important. And they believe the act of a successfully deflecting a blade, of successfully deflecting a blade is akin to a carp ascending a waterfall. Okay, so we did just change the text a bit, but... We can buy this one, so we're gonna yeah, increase the posture damage we get uh, after we deflect something. So there we go. That's really, really powerful. I'm really liking that we uh, well, kind of murdered some rats, according to his uh, description. So last time we ended it at the gates of Ashina Castle. And before I forget, I should actually equip that overhead strike. So the Ishimonji, there we go. I don't often use those techniques just because I often get caught up in the moment. But we have this woman praying in this direction and we have the castle itself. I feel like we should go to the castle first. And remember that there's a side route over here as well. So let's do just that. But there seems to be a memory right here next to the gate as well. So let's check that out. Seems like it's Kuro and Emma again. Lord Kuro, it is time, Lady Emma. Yes, I know. Master Genichiro is waiting, is he not? I will return to the top of Ashina Castle. Okay. She's looking at the staircase. Whoa, that reed whistle we used before. This time, I will use it to call on you. Okay, this time I will use it to call on you. Seems like there is actually two ways to the side here as well, which is interesting. There's clearly enemies behind the barricades here, so... Won't be fooled. This, or is that not... That looked like a hat. It is a hat, but it's just a hat. So there we go, we can just destroy that. Never mind. I'm getting paranoid, and this seems to loop back over there as well. And then we have that other bit to the other side. Let's go a bit higher, because that one guy is actually... Oh, they see me. They see me? Okay. Let's just murder this guy. And there we go. An owl guy. That was interesting. So, he was on the roofs. He was on the rooftops, that was interesting. So that's probably one of those night jars. Because it kind of fits with the little drawing that not, that's right next to the night jar technique. So this seems to be... Hmm, quite a few side buildings. Um, I could probably just drop down onto one of these. 
So this, I love how the dead guy is just right next to those uh, soldiers and they just really don't care. And that's a rifleman, probably. So, easy does it. There we go. Kind of lost track of him a little bit. And there's a wolf there as well. I'm just gonna go for the... The rifleman first. There we go. We killed the wolf in one go as well. And that's gonna give us another kill. And that's a nice deflect uh ooh, deflection in one go. And we do indeed do a lot of extra uh pusher damage. Okay, we're getting poisoned a bit, but there we go. Destroy this hat. So that's just normal. We need to do the loaded axe twice on those guys. Their hats are too strong, I suppose. <laughs> that is funny, though. So let's go back into stealth. And um, we seem to be a bit higher than the sculptor's idol. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. So this is just an open building as well. Just called a uh, higher ground there. Uh, I'm just going to keep the healing board handy, but I'm not going to use it just yet. I'm fine as it is. So let's go all the way up and take a look. So the gate is defended by another mini boss, which is fine by me. I've heard people complaining about the fact that there are a lot of mini bosses, but I feel like you shouldn't see them as me. Okay, what? Wait, 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 what, 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 what? Ah, oh, there he is. Oh! Oh, he got me! So just heal up. Okay. There we go. Okay. So he's uh, really quick in his... And <laughs> there he goes. Really quick in his attacks. Did get the gold from him, though. Okay, so these guys have like the the monocular, the, the telescope actually said, have really, really high perception. So they only need to hear a whiff of you and they attack. So let's just check out ourselves if you can get a drop of one of these ourselves. That little tower there is decorated for some reason. So I don't know why that is, but let's just first check out this bird's nest down below. Over here, because there's an item here. Which is just a silly ceramic shard. Okay, let's head towards that fancy tower. So, purple tower. And there's another one of those night jars over there. Ooh, and there's one over here as well. There goes that one. He saw me. But I mean, I'm still over here, buddy. Ooh, and there's another one on the right. But I might be able to get the item if I want to... Hmm. Maybe if I'm aggressive enough. And there we go. Just gonna go around the corner. Oh no, there he is. And there we go. I got this guy. There we go. Oh, the shuriken actually takes him out immediately. Okay. That's interesting to know. Um, just use the healing gourd again. So we're max health. So that was just some pallets. Which is fine. Pallets are always handy. But now, there seems to be... Is that a... What the hell? That was a nice jar stuck to that kite. Oh, what the hell is that? There we go. I we killed him in one go. So the shuriken is really, really necessary there. Okay. So that was impressive. He just came from that kite. That was really cool. But I don't know where I'm getting myself into here. Because I feel like I'm going along... Yeah, there's a lot of things to do on these rooftops and more night jars where that came from. 
So let's just first check out the gates themselves before we... Well, get in over our heads. And there we go. Oh, I love how he just jams that sword into his neck. It's really, really gruesome sometimes, but there we go. Not too much damage. Kill four dudes. Uh, so this area is clear now. I'm just going to try stealth around a bit. I mean, I'm still a shinobi. So the overabundance of rooftops makes me wonder whether I missed anything, but... More items strewn around here, and then we get to the gate itself. But... The gate itself is protected by a lot of dudes. So I'm wondering if I can actually try to be a bit of a stealthy gorilla warrior here. So, went back to the Nightjar roof. I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishin and the peoples of Ashina. We are Ashina! We are unbreakable! Yeah! Okay. He's really We're into it. He's really into it. But they're still not moving. Was expecting them to move a bit at least. But I feel like most of these guys are actually gunners. So if I just jump on this guy. There we go. We got one dead blow in. Oh god. There we go. There we go. We can go death blow to death blow. And just get uh, get rid of those guys. Oh wow, he just one shot at me. Okay, fair enough. Challenge accepted. I'm moving away. <laughs> Let's heal. Oh wow, he just goes through my defense in one go. Oh! Run away, run away, run away, run away. Hmm. This seems to be like a tough motherfucker. I don't think I will be doing this right now, so I'm just gonna leave and access the sculptor's idol. Right? Yeah, okay. Let's just rest. There we go. Okay, no shame in running away for now. That guy chewed through my health like it was nothing. So... Hmm. Let's just check out the side route here first then. If I can actually get to it. That was interesting. So, side area here. And there's a building that we can actually enter. But that seems to be looping back. No, but maybe... Oh. Light coin purse. Don't mind if I do. I heard you were the one that put the armor on that big bugger from Taro Troop. Yeah, he was making a stink about it. It was a damned awful job. But it looks like it paid off, didn't it? He already had a huge frame and massive strength. And you just made him near impervious to blades. That is true, but... He doesn't like that armor. And he sure didn't like me putting it on him. When a fight happens, it might come off easier than you think. Okay. It might come off easier than you think. What does that mean? And there's an entire side area here. So I'm just gonna see. Because usually we can get underneath a bridge. Although... Those two guys I can probably easily kill. Just want to check out both sides. We can get down there which is interesting so we can go down there or we can just cross the bridge let's start off by just crossing the bridge want to see what's over here and they were talking about a guy in armor so that sounds good there we go that guy might have paid attention but the gatehouse key the key to a samurai gatehouse located in the ashina reservoir not far from the well the wolf was kept in here gyobu the demon's broken horn is respectfully guarded by Ashina Samurai. The broken horn is a spear blade once wielded by Gyobu the demon. It's said that no prey can escape Gyobu's horn. It pulls enemies in and is even capable of stripping an enemy's armor. Okay, I got it. 
Got the hand, got the hand. So we should probably get to the gatehouse in the reservoir itself. And I suppose that the reservoir is down there. Because this looks familiar. Yeah, that's the wall we first... We first uh, went past and our first stealth section was over there and that little tower was where we found Kuro the first time. Interesting. So the reservoir was all the way down there, if I'm not mistaken. That is interesting. So we're at the base of the castle, but we're back where we started. So, onto the wall. I'm supposing the enemies are more difficult this time around. And there's a big dude with two wolves next to him. So what if I just jump? Ah, we just killed one of the wolves. That's too bad. Don't know what that guy's doing. So just want to kill the wolf. There we go. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. And he still hit me. I should guard that. Oh, yeah. It captured me inside of it. <laughs> oh, I love the animation on that. I feel like we can't really... So that is that the armor they were talking about? Ah, in the back he has no armor, okay. Oh, that was no good. And I died. Okay. Fair enough, this guy, so this guy has armor that I can penetrate. Seems like a guy we should probably avoid, but I'm stubborn like that. And he killed me again. Okay, I'm right. <sighs> back to the reservoir it is. I mean, yes, I can kill him. And I need to be careful that I don't trigger the Dragon Rod again. But uh, feels like I should probably focus on uh, something else first. So let's get that Horn first. It's probably one of the uh, prosthetic tools again. There we go. Just gonna kill these two guys. For good measure. I wonder what triggers that animation. that Because uh, my posture isn't broken at that point. But for some reason he starts staggering. I'm guessing that's for a reason. So there we go. So now we're close. Ooh. So that is, if I'm not mistaken, that's the reservoir again. Is that the door where we eventually got out? I think it is, right? So that's a tunnel, not a guardhouse. So if we go back up, what else is here? So it's probably over there somewhere, so we need to do the entire loop with backwards. And there's gonna be more enemies probably, and we get another Sculptor's Idol. Can we open this up? No, it does not open from this side, but we do get an eavesdrop. Okay, so they know I'm here. Let's commune with the Sculptor's Idol. This is the first time we found it. And I only have one skill point, so that's fine. I'm just gonna try and kill these guys off. There we go. Just take the dangerous guy. Okay, okay, buddy. Take it easy. Just lie down in peace. There we go, that's one down. And there's the other one down. I need to take a healing ward already. That was uh, a bit annoying. But where we started. But that's all the way down, right? But we can skip through a few bits of this, I think. Unless there's new items in the tower as well. But we go over here and then over to that branch. I can stealth again. And get this guy in the back. Don't know what, what saw me. Ah, it's one of those bell guys. That was nasty. Let's just get into the grass. 
But if I'm not mistaken, the description said we needed to go where we started. So that is over here. And there seems to be somebody crouched by the hole that we started in. So let's see. Seems to be a person we can actually talk to. Hello, sir. Truly stirs my soul. Beautiful, and yet somehow sad. As if it yearns, it calls for someone. Um, let, let's greet the man. Hey, who are you calling for? Let me hear it one more time. Hey, you. What? <coughs> oh, my name is Jinzaimon Kumano. My duty is to patrol the moat. Hmm, I've not seen you around before. Which clan are you? You are big. I cannot say. You cannot say, you say? Hmm. So you are a shinobi, then? I cannot say. Your manners could use some work. Indeed. No matter. If you are a shinobi, I won't press any further. Uh, do we want to talk to this man? <clears throat> shinobi? Have you ever heard someone playing the shamisen around here? I followed the sound and it led me to this well. The Shamisen. I have not. Oh, is that so? I thought since you're a shinobi, you might know. I wonder who that melody calls to. I don't know why, but I can't stop thinking about it. Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Please forget I ever spoke of it. No, 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 I want to know more. Okay, I have not heard the shamisen yet. I thought... Okay. Uh, oh, Let's move on. So, I did check when we first started out. I did check out this area, but... For some reason, I feel like... Ooh, what is that? That looks like... Yeah, that's a, a mini boss. But it looks like a ghost. Um, Geronimo! The Lone Shadow Swordsman. Where am I? I, I can't see a thing. I'm in this wall. Will you please let me out of here? Come on. Oh, wow. Ah, that's a sweep, and he killed me. Holy shit. So, second attempt. Definitely start this off with a drop attack. There we go. Is he gonna call me a bastard again? Okay then. How is he consistently kicking my ass? How is he? Fuck off! Seriously. Okay, one more time, because even when I deflect this guy, he just goes through my posture like it's nothing. And there we go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I got you. Got your number. Can you up again? Come on, buddy. Jump again. Jump again. Jump again. And there we go. The overhead slam. Yeah. 
And there we go. Got him. Ooh, he was a dancer, wasn't he? Goodbye, buddy. Scrap magnetite. Magnetic ore mined in Ashina. Base material commonly used in prosthetic tool upgrades of intermediate and higher rank. Forging with magnetite produces a hard steel. A precious commodity in Ashina. Bedrock offering up this ore is constantly mined out, making it a rare one at that. And we got another prayer beat, which is great. So that was the Lone Swordsman. For what reason was he in my hole? And yes, I am calling this officially my hole. So now, we never checked out this part. I don't know where it leads to. I know it must lead somewhere. Yeah, there we go, but now we can grapple up. And there's caves in here. Some more scrap iron, we might be able to upgrade that as well. Abandoned dungeon. I'm going to push through until I find the Sculptor's Idol. I feel like one might be close. I hear noises. There's something on the floor over there. Must be a gecko of some kind. What is this? Well, this is something new. So let's just creep around and jump on the gecko. Because I know from the, the screens, the loading screens, that these gecko can actually be jumped upon. Like that. Goodbye. What is this? I could jump. Although I don't even know if I can jump down. Looks like there's just... Ooh, that is... That seems like a boss fight in the making. But is there... Is that a sculptor's idol? Looks like it. But I need to probably cross if I wanna if I wanna reach that. Whoa! Did that? Yeah, I reached. I reached. Okay. Bulging coin purse. How much is that? That should be a lot, right? Ooh, yeah, this skeleton man is doing some purple shit. So I'm just gonna Oh. Is that the same guy from upstairs? Let's just commune and rest. And then maybe have a chat with that guy. Uh, we can also enhance our physical attributes with the four prayer beads. Which will upgrade... Ooh, in Ashina there is a towering pink ogre of a man said to have gone red-eyed and run amok before he was long shut away in a forsaken dungeon. This one? Probably. So health bar and posture have been increased. Which is good. Then I can rest up to get my cords back. And then... Let's see. Can I talk to... Yeah. The guy from before. The guardsman. Ah, ah. It's faint, but... Yes, I can hear it. As if it is... Calling out for someone. Crying. Perhaps it is calling to... Me? Okay, let's greet him again. Hey. Every now and then, yes, I can hear it. Give me a sign. Is it me you're calling to? What's wrong? Hmm? Oh, ha. if it isn't the shinobi, following the sound brought me here. Can you hear it? It's faint, carried by the wind. It's coming from this hole. You hear it, do you not? I hear nothing. I see. Perhaps I alone can hear it. Oh, nothing else matters. I must follow that melody. That melody calls to me. At least, I believe it does. Okay. But... We don't hear anything. Well, aside from the... The purple skeleton, man. Where is this going because it's going away from the purple skeleton man and this is no creepy at all oh and this is that woman again that old woman will you be cast out or throw yourself in what if you wish to go to the very depths of Ashina then you'd best cast yourself out over there the depths of Ashina are over there. Uh, 
Okay, then. You want me to just throw myself over the cliff? Okay. Okay, woman. Okay. <laughs> That's not something I'm going to do now, is it? That's not something I'm going to do now. So, before we move on, which is definitely not going to be in that direction, I'm going to take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sekiro, where we, uh, well, retreaded our previous steps a bit, and we killed the swordsman, and a lot of owl-looking dudes on rooftops. But uh, next time, I think we will be heading back to that giant with the clock I didn't kill and try to beat him and see what's behind him there. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you guys next time in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye!